Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about how some trees in the forest survive with minimal water. As you can see, there's a lot of fog up where I live. I live at uh, 2,800 uh, foot elevation in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And a lot of the trees, they depend upon the fog. And while the fog has a lot of water content in it and it benefits all the trees, some species of trees that are short needle trees, like these Douglas fir, the spruce, you know, some of the pines, the, uh, the redwoods, a lot of the, the conifer trees that have very, very short needles have got this function that seems to aid in watering their root system. Like I said, all the trees benefit from the moisture that comes in from the fog. But when you go out in the woods and you go underneath some of the, the broadleaf trees like uh, the tan oaks or the madrones or, or some of the trees that have got big wide leaves, even though it's really foggy, it's still fairly dry. But when you go over to the, the Douglas firs, like the firs on the right here, the ground is saturated because what happens is the fog comes in and it gathers on these short needles and it creates drips that fall off on the ground. Now on my property I'm at an elevation where the redwoods don't grow naturally and I've only got one redwood that I planted. I don't know if you could even tell there but it was the smaller tree in the front and you can see the larger taller tree in the background there. That is a Douglas fir that wasn't even there when I planted this redwood tree. Now if you look closely you can see that they've got really short needles and the way that they're configured is they'll gather up the, the water weight just like the Douglas fir here. All the water will, will gather in, in little condensation uh, droplets on the needles and they drip off rapidly. So out in the woods when it, the fog comes through, which is a fairly natural occurrence, and actually this isn't even fog here, this is a cloud. The clouds will come up over from the coast and they just sort of drop through these these uh, forests that have a lot of the conifers in them and the trees that really need a lot of additional water like the the Douglas firs they will gather up that water and you'll see that the ground is thoroughly saturated but go out to the other parts of the woods like this big oak tree right here and the ground isn't wet you know there might it might be a little moist but it's it's not saturated like under the short needle trees this is kind of interesting. This is an area on my property where it's just a collection of beautiful madrone trees. Off in the distance, the real tall straight ones, that's a, a tan oak forest, but there's a grouping of madrones and they all seem to be doing quite well. And it's a, in an area that hasn't really been developed at all. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. The beauty of this fog coming through, the god beams coming through with the, with the sunlight and then the sun broke. and. Oh, it was just an absolutely amazing day. And feeling these big fog banks, these big cloud banks coming through, that it was just oh, just just an amazing experience. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe.